and welcome to my Man with the Gun and Gun movie reveal. This is my continuation of my theory of reviewing all the game memory leading up to um No Time to Die. So the Man with the Gun and Gun is directed by Guy Hamilton, starring Roger Moore and Christopher Lee. And release date was December 19th, 1974. Running time 125 minutes. Budget seven million. Box office ninety-seven point six million. Um, I think the man with the gun gun and one of the okay game memory. It it, it had problems. Um, probably my favorite thing, the funniest thing in the movie, it went game on at the JoJo and then bowed down and then and then kicked the guy and run off. That's very funny. Uh, I, I think they should uh, put uh, J.T. Pepper in the movie. Uh, he, he doesn't need to be in the movie. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a thing with the uh, one Bond girl is stuck in a closet. It's awkward. They could have done better with the Bond girl in this movie. Nick Nat. Either, either uh, make him better in the movie. At the henchman or the come out of the movie. Okay. The manga. I thought he was okay. Um. So there's some stuff in this movie that could, would have been awesome if they would have edited it, went back and fixed up. But overall, it kind of bland. Some people might think forgettable or, or, or bad game by movie. For me, it's just okay. And I would say, um, uh, Living and Die a lot better. And, uh, and that's one, the fire who loved me, a lot better too. Okay? So I'm gonna give the man with the gun gun. Um. Uh, a stick. That's an okay game by me. With a, a few, uh, good things here and there, some bad things here and there. So he doesn't want the okay game by me. Okay? Um. So. Thank you for watching my review of The Man with the Gone Gun. Thanks.